All right, now let's continue. So in this video now, okay, I've realized that this one, the enter prompt, we are gonna update it later on. Let's just finish up first with the, if we go up with this build info overlay, okay. But before we finish up with this, if we go to image here, let's see, let's set up now to test if we pick image from gallery or camera, if we can show the image here, okay. Let's uh, add that function. So for that, we have to come up here and make our methods work here. So for example, here in the toggle mode, what we have to do is to just call our provider. I'm going to say context dot read dot wallpaper provider dot clear state. And then we're just going to do that. Okay. Now the other thing to do is to pick image okay so we need you didn't create that method so let's see here let's say uh, uh pick image okay so to pick image from gallery or uh, camera so what we're gonna do here is just to create a future method okay which is going to be called pick image. Now in this method, what we're going to do is first, in, uh, we don't need to put that method in the provider. If you want, we can do it that way, but it's also just one line of code. Okay. So what we're going to do here, let's pass the image source to know if we want to pick from gallery or, or, or camera. So image source, we're going to call source. And then this, let's import our package uh, image picker. It's going to be a source. Now here, what we're going to do is uh, we have to say final uh, picked image. Uh, we're going to say picked file. We're going to await uh, picked file. So let's put it in a lower case here. Yeah? We have to await for the package. Sorry, let's do await. Here we're going to say image picker. Yeah, image picker dot pick image. And then we're going to say the source here. Okay. Now after this is picked, we have to check if uh, picked image is not now. Okay. So if picked image is not now, we have to set that image now so that we can show it here. Okay. So yeah, we need to create that method in the provider, but you can see this, what is saying, don't build, don't use build context across asynchronous gap. So here we have to check if it is mounted. Okay. So we're going to check if uh, mounted, if the context is mounted. Okay. If we know that this class is still there, if it is mounted, what we're going to do is let's await again, go into the provider, context.provider.read, wallpaper provider. Now, yeah, here we need to score our method uh, set image. Okay, now this picked file, we need to send it as an uh, X file. So we're going to say X file. And then here we need to call the picked image dot path like this. So this X file again, let's import our class. It has to be X file. I think we have already imported. Yeah. So now let's create this method to, of uh, setting image back in our provider. So in, in uh, the shortcut where we can just click here and then you can create method set image. Okay. So it has created in the provider. All we have to do is to go here and then see that uh, this is method that is as created. But what we're going to do is uh, let's change this also to the future method. Okay. Which is going to be the future void. And then we call set image, which passes going to be an X file and then uh, the path. So here, let's say image path. Let's just call it like that. And this is going to be asynchronous. So what we're going to do here is just to set this, this up here. Let's click tab. Okay. So here, what we're simply going to set is a uh, image file on top here is going to be a file path dot uh, that. And then the image 
for the image we have to say image dot path like that okay okay why is it refusing let's see what did we call this image that because that's dynamic it's okay we need to get this one okay copy this and then paste it here okay this it, this might be the same thing that i'm doing here okay either way we have to do it like that okay so this is the only thing that we are going to do here to set that image to the image that we have picked we are going to set it to this dynamic image and the image file so that we can use it to display it here so let's close that okay so we so we move that uh let's go back and then let's remove that and then here we have to import the this package the image picker package okay yeah so that's the only method we have done here and then if we come here to warp, create wallpaper we need to call this method when we click on one of these buttons okay so here picking from the gallery we just need to call pick image and then the image source is going to be image image source dot gallery and then that's it so here we can also just instead of doing all of this we can cut this out and then just put it here just to make uh, code look much cleaner here okay because we you don't need this comment we know what's happening here you can just put that over there okay and then image source is going to be camera okay now we're gonna test this out okay so let's hot reload let's just wait for it to start and then if we click here now if we come here and then let's see if we can pick from the gallery now i have put these images that i've downloaded once i click one of these you can see that it's uh, been set okay and then there's no there's nothing here these buttons are not showing because we are only showing these if it is uh, let's go up here okay we are only showing this bottom part if it doesn't have an image even the up bar but once we click here you can see that the up bar is come has come back that is because of this gesture detector okay if it has image we are toggling controls one week once we click here we are toggling to show controls or height controls this is exactly that we want to do okay now if we go to click here to go to ai generation this is going to be reset we are going to call this toggle method which is going to clear this which means this image will go away click that you can see that's exactly what we want okay if we come back here we have to load again so let's see if we pick from the camera just say, let's just say get it and then let's just click you can see that we have it here and then we can toggle toggle again and then if we want to clear we can just switch there okay so yeah that's it guys for this one now we know that we are displaying the image in the next one we want when we pick the image like uh, let's me just do it again if we pick one of the image we want to show the overlays here the buttons to share or cancel okay so that we don't need to do this anymore to cancel so that we don't need to toggle here so we want to show the cancel and share button which is going to be this over here okay the build overlay these ones will only show if there is an image here okay yeah so that's it guys thank you and see you in the next video